we ask the question, do y'all believe on justice? Do y'all believe in justice? Very good. Justice is what? One people or gen work, a genocide happened to us, committed by who? Whites, Asians, Arabs. Remember, the Arab man had us in slavery. And what religion did the Arabs force black people to become? What was it? Do, do we have kids? Do I have kids? You're throwing us huh? off the topic. You're throwing us off the topic. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Black people were forced to become Christians in slavery, right? Yeah. Yes. When we were under the Arab man, what religion did the Arab man force black people to become? Very good. Islam, Muslims. We were forced to become Muslims. We were forced to become, to follow this right here, Christianity. There's no scripture in the Bible that says Christ is Caucasian. Right. Yeah, right. There's no way in the Bible where it says Jesus Christ is white. But guess what? The black woman will still force that black man to go to church. The star in the east, and we have come. Listen, stop. Now, Marcus. Marcus. Black man to go to church on Sunday. Right. Black men, you don't belong in the church on Sunday. The church is not about where you're going to learn how to be a leader. Because guess what? Let me show you something. Give me 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 4. When you read the Bible, the leaders in the Bible, they were men of action. That's right. I didn't notice. We came over here. We drove six hours over here. We didn't notice. The Black Panthers had a chapter in Rochester, in Syracuse. The Black Panthers had a chapter in Buffalo. And you saw the Black Panthers had a breakfast program. What was their job? To protect and feed the community. Read this scripture right here. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 4. In his acts, he was like a lion, uh -huh. and like a lion's whelp, uh -huh. roaring for his prey. So the Bible says, in his acts, he was like a lion. What does it mean? This is talking about one of the leaders in the Bible. It says, in his acts, he was like a lion. What is the Bible showing us? It we're all the Lord is all about actions. Right. What actions are you gonna commit? Are you committing actions with the Lord? Are you protecting your people? Are you teaching your people? Or are the things you're doing hurting your people? Bring it out. Shalom Israel, Mosai Christ bless. Scan that QR code that you will see on the screen. Because guess what? We trying to push this truth toward the four corners of the earth. Let's push this truth toward the four corners of the earth, man. Stop playing games. Make sure you subscribe to all our channels. We're pushing the truth. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Go to 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. The thing, examine this. This is something you got to ask yourself. When I am seen by these young men in my community, are they looking up to me as what they should be like? Or are you that brother, hey, look, do as I say, don't do as I do? You understand? That's just going to be a risk. That's just going to be a cycle. You got to break the cycle. And that's why, guess what? That's why white people don't fear us. Because they say, leave them alone. They'll destroy themselves. They're just niggas. What's a nigger? A nigger has no values. A nigger has no vision. A nigger don't care about nobody but his damn self. That's a nigger. What's an Israelite? 
We about to read what Israelite is. That's right. Uh, Israelite is going to protect his community. Right. That's right. Uh, Israelite is going to protect the woman in his community. Right. right. And Israelites, us, who we are, you will fix the problems. Right. Y'all brothers in this area, y'all brothers are supposed to be the leaders here. That's what y'all job is, to fix the problems here. How do you find out? What's the problems going on? What's going on? Well, we keep having drug dealers going on in that side of town always after 9 o'clock. Okay, we're going to gather together and we're going to fix that. Watch this. Read this. Bring it out. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more exceeding proudly. You know what it means, talk no more exceeding proudly? Because black men, it's like they don't care about dying. Black men gave up. As long as they got a gun in their hip, they feel like they're untouchable. As long as they got a gun, they feel untouchable. There is a God. Right. There is a God. That's right. That's who you're supposed to fear. The most high God. Right. Right. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. That's arrogancy when you say, yo, no man can touch me. No man can touch me. Nobody, I fear no. That's arrogancy. The Lord said, don't let that kind of conversation come out your mouth. Read. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. So the Lord that we serve, that we believe in, it says he's a God of knowledge. Right. Read. And by him. And by the Lord God of heaven, who's black. Watch this. Actions are weighed. He weighs our actions. Right. The Lord weighs. You may say, yo, I care about my people. I, lo I love my people. But you may be cool with every drug dealer in your own neighborhood. So think about it. You may say, I know all the drug dealers. I'm cool with them. But I, I, I love everybody here. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm going to show you how. Look. Watch this. Ephesians 5 and 11. Ephesians. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. There comes a point in your life where you got to separate from your friends. There comes a point where, think about it, you may have the mentality, I gotta, I gotta change. I gotta come out this state of mind. This ain't gonna help me. My circle of men that I'm around, they're not trying to do nothing. God says what? And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Because if you're around that circle, it's either jail or death. Right. So you can't say, oh, no, I'm good. I, I got knowledge. I, I'm all right. But look at your circle. Look at the men you're around. The men you're around, they're not trying to do nothing. You may be trying to do something, but your circle, they're not trying to. You can't force nobody to change. Read. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. What does that mean? I got to separate from you. I can respect you. Well, what's going on? Everything good? Okay, cool. No problem. That's it. That's it. I got to separate from you. Why? Because now my mind is prepared. I'm focused. Right. That's what black men need. Focus. There's an old acronym for focus. Follow one course until success. Bring it out. That's what focus stands for. Follow one course until success. That's what black men, that's what we need. But in order to do that first, guess what you need? You have to understand who you are, bro. Bring it out. Get your eight and eight. Your people need this. Your people need this. Job chapter eight, verse eight. This is what our people need in every project, every community, every neighborhood where it's filled with blacks and Latinos. They need God's law. This is all that I need. The book of Job, chapter 8, verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. So Job said, ask of the former age. The days that were before you, Job said, you need to learn about those days. Read. And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. It says that prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. You know what that means, brothers? You got to know your ancestors. Right. You got to know your nationality. You got to know who you are. That's right. It says, prepare yourself to the search of your fathers. Yeah. Now, here's my question to the brothers here in Bricktown. 
I got a question to the brothers here in Bricktown. Here's my question. Here's my question to y'all. What book do we go to to read about the records of black history? What book do we find? You say the Bible, brother, right there, with the hoodie on. What book? What book do we go to to read about the records and history of black people? What book do you say? The Bible. But uh, do you believe that or are you just saying that? Okay, okay, brother right here. What book do you go to to read from about the records of black people? Meaning what? If you want to read about black history, this is the book you go to. Uh -huh. The Bible. He said the Bible as well. Everything that y'all said is very true. Watch this. Get Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. Bring it out. Now let me show you something. Let me show you something. How did black people come to America? How did black people come to America? Brother Mano, how did black people come to America? I'm going to show you the Bible. It says it right here in the Bible. Watch this. Read. And remember, this was written over thousands of years ago. Right. Watch. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. No. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt represents the house of bondage. Right. God told Moses, tell the Israelites, I'm going to send them back into slavery. But this time, watch how he's going to do it. Into Egypt again. With ships. What did the Bible just say? With ships. What did the Bible just say? With ships. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. The Lord said, I'm going to send them back into slavery, but this time with cargo slave ships. Right. Read. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. What were we going to see no more again? Our homeland. Our native country. Right. Read. And there. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Oh, when we got off the slave ships, what did they do to us? They sold us. Right. They sold us. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.